Hello and welcome to my review of FXCM. Forex Capital Markets, or FXCM as it is more commonly known, is one of the larger Forex brokers around the world. It's been around since 99, originally starting in the United States. It has been a leading provider of foreign exchange, CFD trading, spread betting, and related services for years. This gives traders access to some of the most liquid markets on the planet. It was once the largest leader of U.S. retail Forex trading uh, market, but in February of 17, FXCM, or Forex Capital Markets Limited Liability Company, got renamed a global brokerage. This was because the branch was banned by the U.S. National Futures Association and has agreed to withdraw from registration with the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, or the CFTC. This was due to repeated violations. However, uh, more on this a little later because the company is not owned by the same people. They do offer different trading accounts. Uh, they offer uh, three different sizes, uh, your mini, uh, your standard, and your active. And they offer different leverage. They offer one to 400 for your um many and then one to 100 for the others uh, the many of course needs a little bit more leverage to to make it count truly really, with that type of size so going back to the company they are owned by lucadia which is a uh, financial uh, services firm that owns a lot of different companies they were bought out by them the uh, the customers in the united states ended up with either oanda or forex.com and uh, it was a rather quick thing actually I, I remember it quite well that it just suddenly happened um, but having said that the brokerages uh, are now split up between several companies including forex capital markets limited uh, which is uh, in the united kingdom the fxcm australian uh, division which we're at their site uh, there's also the Israel Limited, which is more of an IB, and South Africa uh, Limited, which is also an IB. This causes a bit of confusion, but at this point, most transactions in the customer base can be found either in uh, the London or the Australian branch. Uh, the new owners, of course, have been much more stringent when it comes to policies because, quite frankly, they can't afford not to be. Uh, with that being the case, uh, it certainly is a um, much... Uh, tighter run ship so certainly things have changed uh, quite drastically so the brokerage has an initial deposit of $50 for a micro uh, and then you uh, go to the uh, standard account and then that ends up being uh, 2000 and then the active trader is 25,000. Now, there are some major differences between these accounts, including the spreads and conditions. So, with your uh, micro account, it's a variable spread, roughly 1.4 on average. Uh, however, that does change depending on the account and the pair. So, like right here, and I am recording this towards the close of the week, so uh, cables at 1.5. Dollar Swiss at 1.8. Uh, it's not too bad this time of week, actually. Uh, we're literally 10 minutes from the weekly close. Uh, but uh, if you are a standard account, your average spread will be uh, 0.4 pips with a commission of $4 added per standard lot per side. The commission is three pounds if you're in the UK. If you're an active trader account, the spread is 0.4 pips on average plus a commission that is anywhere from $1.80 to $4 per side. And that's going to depend on volume. Uh, so it should be noted that there's no dealing desk for both standard and active trader accounts. But there is for the many account, like a lot of brokers, there's really nothing new or magical about that. It should be noted that micro not, uh, lots are available on all accounts. So granularity on risk uh, appetite and risk uh, management is certainly available. Uh, you can see that we do have a large amount of CFDs to trade as well. Um, indices, for example, uh, soybeans, uh, gold, copper, nat gas, uh, etc. So 
they do have a handful of platforms uh, that you can trade with. Uh, there's Trading Station, which is their in-house. That's a picture of it back there. It's a pretty nice platform. I've actually used it before. Uh, MetaTrader 4, like you would expect. And Ninja Trader, which is, uh, if you're a futures trader, you'll, you'll know that one uh, quite well. So it gives you the ability to pick uh, different uh, trading platforms. Um, there are also Zulu Trade and Mirror Trade and algorithmic trading available. Clients can use a, a debit card uh, or a credit card to fund and withdraw, as well as bank wired check in uh, ACH. There is a ton of education and research at FXCM. This is something that they've always been really good at. Uh, you can see they've got nice sections here, daily technical levels, market scanner, that type of thing. So all in all, FXCM is a, a pretty large broker. And the problem is, if you're watching me from the United States, it can't be done. Uh, and quite frankly, why would you? So it's a strong broker. But honestly, I think the situation in the United States is something that they're going to have to repair their reputation for years to come. Um, I know that the FXCM version in the UK has always been somewhat um, respected, and I would assume the Australian one is. But after being thrown out of the United States, essentially, uh, that is a, definitely a black eye that Lucadia is going to have to work on. Uh, you know, and in all fairness, they weren't the ones that were involved in that mess. So um, that being said, it is worth taking a flyer on, but ultimately there's nothing here that makes FXCM stand out from many of the other brokers that I'll be reviewing. 